welcome today we are going to see introduction about high voltage direct transmission system in this topic what are the parameters we are going to see means dc power transmission technology comparison of ac and dc transmission system applications of dc transmission description of ac as well as dc transmission system planning for hvdc transmission system and modern trends in hvdc transmission technology dc breakers operating problems hvdc transmission based voltage source converters types and applications of multi terminal dc transmission systems so what is the dc power transmission technology in this era the demand is doubled for every year so we need to go for generation as well as transmission as per our requirement with economical manner so compared to the ac transmission system dc transmission system is economical one because it can be used for long distance as well as high power transmission as well as power flow control is peculiar one so here the sending end generation station ac rectifier dc as well as transmission line that means the generator station generate the ac power that will be fed to rectifier which converts the ac into dc the dc is fed to the transmission line this is in this phenomena occurred in the sending end in receiving end the transmission line which have dc power supply which is fed to the inverter then the inverter converts the ac supply that means uh, dc into ac which is given to the load so this is the process of dc transmission system so the first dc transmission system between swedish mainland to island of gotland the capacity is 20 megawatts 100 kv dc line at first the mercury arc valve is used to for convert the ac supply into dc supply in the rectifier now it is used a rectifier as a ac to dc converter instead of arc valves the rating of semiconductor device that should be maintained 10 kv 5 kilo ohm and 125 mm size the highest voltage transmission reach the device is up to 600 kv now let's see what's the comparison between the ac as well as dc transmission system there are two modes of transmission system are there one is the ac as well as dc what are the factors to be considered while transmitting the power whether it's may be ac or dc means the economics of power transmission technical performance then reliability the economic of power transmission which includes investment cost as well as operating cost then the cost of the conductor also considered then what are the losses occurred while transmitting the ac means the skin effect ferranti effect then corona loss magnetic interference that may be occurred in ac but in case of dc there is no skin effect less corona loss less dielectric losses and also the size of the conductor also economical there is no need of compensation device in transmission line so this is the advantages of ac transmission line while compared to the uh, uh, compared to the ac the dc equipment cost is high the ac line has three conductors that may be same size in case of dc the conductor is two this is the comparison between ac as well as dc cost of transmission here from this we can conclude the total ac cost is higher than the dc transmission system so we can get the clear picture while transmitting the long distance dc is economical one compared to the ac transmission so the distance is less than breakdown distance the ac transmission is economical in case of greater than break the break even distance dc is economical the technical performance the controllability of power faster than the ac line in dc in case of ac 
the control capability as well as performance is uh, less than compared to the DC line. The stability limit, the AC transmission line, power depends upon the voltage phase at two ends. But if the distance increases, phase angle also that will reflect in the power factor. So the AC transmission affected by the distance and the DC transmission, which is independent of distance, wherever we want to uh, expand in future, we can easily expand without any deviation, without any loss. So AC transmission line, if the midpoint voltage is increased at that condition, the line loading is greater than SIL. If the midpoint voltage is decreased, the line loading is less than SIL. That means SIL means the surge imprints loading. So this is the uh, cost-wise comparison of graph shows. Next one is the line compensation. In case of AC transmission line, which need serious and shunt compensator to overcome the stability and line charging problems, as well as the compensate their reactive power while varying the load condition. That is essential one for AC transmission line. In case of DC, we no need to for a transmission line compensator, which only utility system compensation only enough. So reliability, the DC is good compared to the AC because the DC system is compact as well as secure and also which they, in, they are using the cables instead of OHT. So that life period of the transfer system becomes increased. So the life period, lifespan of the in, thyristor can be improved by using thyristor converters. These are the applications of transmission system. There are some of the projects are displayed while uh, starting year of 1989 up to 2018 itself, the length as well as power rating is increased in AC, sorry, DC transmission system compared to the AC. Here, the types of AC transmission system, there's a back-to-back, -back, that is called bipolar HVDC transmission line, and there's a multi-terminal system. In case of bipolar transmission system, the two systems are connected back-to-back. -back. In case of multi-terminal, which has connected in parallel, some fed, of, some fed power as well as some receive from receive power from the HVDC transmission system. So this is the types of DC links, monopolar link, bipolar link, homopolar link. Here in monopolar link, this one conductor, that means negative conductor is given to the ground. In case of bipolar link, there are two conductor, positive as well as negative. There are two set of converters connected in serious, uh, serious DC side, and the negative side is grounded to the supply. In homopolar, two or more conductors with the same polarity, that means negative with the ground. This is a kind of, uh, pictorial representation or uh, single line diagram for converter station. Here, the DC supply is converted into AC in terms of inverter station. If the AC supply is transfer to DC supply in terms of converter station. So here in converter station, the converter unit is there. There are 12 pulse converters used in this method, which convert the DC into AC as well as AC into DC based on the firing angle. Here, the converter transformer is present in the converter station. That may be a three phase winding or three phase two winding or single phase three winding or single phase two winding. Then filters use, used to create the low impedance path for AC harmonics current, which is used to nullify the harmonics as well as 
given the reactive power compensation in utilities. Now, DC filter is used to, used to filter the DC harmonic current as well as magnetic interference. The reactive power source, the converter station needs reactive power, which depends upon the active power loading. The reactive power equipment is provided by the AC filters and static wire compensator and shunt capacitor or start cam. Smoothing reactors, which used to smoothing the output current as well as voltage. Here, the DC switch gear is used as a protecting device used for fault conditions. The planning of HVDC transmission system, the system planner must be considered the DC alternative in transmission expansion. The factors to be considered, the cost, technical performance, and the reliability. In this, based on these factors, we can plan for HVDC transmission system. The interconnection between the two adjacent system, the AC interconnection system poses these several problems in certain cases. So we should improve the power system security as well as in a, enhance the power in future as per requirement. So the two terminal time system where each terminal is located at a suitable place somewhere within a network and connected by a DC overhead line or cable. The back-to-back -back HVDC station along with the AC filter, the station located closer to the border between two systems. The interruption of power of DC system link can occur due to AC line fault and AC system faults. The following factors acquire the detail about study of system interactions. That means static wire compensation and require, required for converter in DC utilities as well as transmission system, the dynamic of over voltages, harmonic generation, and the damping, damping of low frequency. These are the parameter we can consider while choosing the HVDC transmission system, how it can be minimized and how it can be rectified. So these are the systems we can study in this forum. So let us consider in analysis of converter in next chapter. Thank you.